Hi guys, part two. So yeah, just say we've gone through the actual uh, the actual um, main, um, what you call it, the main shelf itself. We've gone through there and we've put um, dead bolts on with lock, with lock, yeah, with nuts so it keeps it all nice and tight. So that's all done. Obviously been painted black. The side of it, the actual plastic's been rubbed down. All the marks took off, all the scuffs took off and we've polished that up. We've just painted the, uh, the grill. I've just got to just touch it up against it a little bit. Just chipped off there before I... Uh, for our lacquer it. So that's been done. So the top of the parrot, all been done. Again, looks immaculate. Original perches, just rubbed down, sanded down, nice and clean. New locks on the back. Um, short barrel cam locks, that's all sorted. Then what we've done is we took the 20p mech out and I've actually made a purpose plate to go over the hole. And then we've put on there a brand spanking new, new pound coin, new one pound coin coin mech, so it takes pound coins every single time. Um, spits out, obviously, doesn't take, doesn't take the old pound coins. We've got a vending sign on there, temporary one. I'm waiting for the one to come from the printers. We've got a temporary one off an old Escapa cabinet we've got. We've just taped it on for the time being, just so I can get it sighted. I have got another one coming, because that, the sticker uh, wasn't sticking anymore. Repainted all the um, actual price tray, repainted the feet as well. So that's, that's it, it's all done. Looking absolutely amazing. Um, back door's obviously just got a new lock on it. Uh, Luckily I had the key for that as well, which is great. Uh, inside, obviously, it's been had a quick clean out. It's now been, oh, also, obviously, again, all the actual basket that holds the eggs, that was all rusty, that's all been repainted, blasted down, repainted, looking spot on. Uh, I've also painted his beaks, his beak was a bit scratched and damaged. He's got a matte black beak, which is obviously black as what we originally had anyway. Again, he's got a tail that moves, he's got a head that turns left to right, and the beak that goes, uh, that opens and closes as well as he speaks. So, as you can see, absolutely, look at the quality now, it's absolutely, you'll probably not find, this is probably, unless someone's on the same sort of thing as me and spent time on these, this is probably the best Glendale parrot there is left in the country, left probably left in the, in, in the, in the world to be fair, uh, because by now they're all gonna be looking very, very tired. There is some knocking about, I was gonna say my friend's got one as well, he's cleaned up a little bit. There is, uh, still, there's, there's, there's quite a lot knocking about, there was a lot back in the day. Probably a lot of them are in uh, showman's storage units somewhere that probably haven't been checked and probably don't work, etc. But there is still some knocking about. There's probably all the different colours knocking about. But again, they'll all be very, very aged now. The domes will look terrible. Um, I'm going to try and save as many as I can. This one I'm keeping. Just to let you know. The good news is it's being kept. It's been sighted. It's now got a mixture of... Uh, it's got two different lines of um, pound stock in there now. I'm not sure how many balls in total it's got in there. But it's got quite a few. That's all been in there. Oh, I've also um, rewired the, um, the chop block on there. was knackered. Um, again, the beat wasn't working, so we've rewired all that, put a new uh, connector on, that's all done. Um, yeah, it looks absolutely beautiful. What I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to end this video and do a quick video of the fuller track sounds and the actual parrot in operation. So, hope you enjoy it, guys. Um, Glendale Parrot, full review, part two, and uh, yeah, it's been sighted. I'll also do a video of it on site as well.